Alright guys, welcome to Worth the Hype. Today we're doing a review on the T5 Custom Kydex holster. Today we're uh, reviewing the Apex Carry holster. It's called the Hitchhiker. This one I had custom made with Jerry. Normally it only comes with one magazine. But this one I had custom made by Jerry with two magazines. It comes with the RCS claw and the one and a half inch quick release hook clips. We'll get close ups later on in the video. First off, before we get any further, take up the gun, empty magazine, and the gun is empty. Alright, and magazines are empty. No ammo in the room, or anybody else in the room. So, right into the product. It's 100% Kydex. Um, it's got a claw here, pushes against your belt so that it pushes the gun back so it doesn't print as much. It's got two quick release claws. Alright, um, uh, you can choose different backs and different fronts. I went with carbon fiber and zombie green, I believe is what they call it. Um, this one you put a zombie. Uh, vinyl logo on it for me and then he always puts his logo on the clips they are five T's for T5 alright it's a family owned business so you know you're getting a good product the holster has already been um, conformed to my gun again I carry the Smith & Wesson Shield 40 Performance Center Edition Retention right out of the box or the bag was perfect. Perfect little catch. Defined click so you know it's in there. Can't be pulled out at certain angles. You have to pull it directly straight. The screws holding in the quick clamps are not touching the gun. There is maybe a quarter of an inch between the gun and the the screws. So, beautiful product, very well made. You can tell it's good Kydex. Some Kydex holsters you can get them and they're all flimsy and you can manipulate them. This one you can tell it's been, it's a good Kydex. It doesn't bend very much. It's stiff, you know. Some of you might not like that because it might get in the way when you're carrying, it might be uncomfortable. For me, it's so small, it's only about three and a half, four inches. Depth. All right, so it doesn't really bother me at all. All right, um, it's a beautiful product the way it's made. You can tell it took time making these. Let's see the package. All right, so brand branding, what gun it's for. In the back, inside the waistband, outside the waistband, left to right, draw. So. And if we open it, you got your invoice, and then he sends business cards, logo, logo, and an extra zombie decal for your holster. Because with time, it will start to peel from inserting it into your uh, pants. Business card, very nice business card. It's a matte black with reflective green and gray on it. Really nice business cards. Business cards to me say a lot about a company. So um, here you can say it says T5 Custom Kydex phone number, Jerry Thompson, owner. All right, phone phone number, email, and website. All there on the business card. Get a close up that in the middle. Here you can see the reflectiveness. All right. There's a little bit of what comes with it. Alright, so now back to the holster. As far as the mag pool or mag retention, they're smooth. They're in there. Again, you can see it's in there. Same with the gun. Not going anywhere. 
even the last one. They're in there, but when you pull them correctly, they're rather easy to pull. And if for some reason his dummy clips or his dummy gun net doesn't match up to yours perfectly, when you get your gun, when you get your holster, all you gotta do is apply a little bit of heat with the magazine or gun in it. Even a blow dryer will work. And just let it heat up a little bit. They heat up rather quickly. And give your gun a draw or two. Shouldn't stretch out the kydex or manipulate it enough to loosen up their attention. Um, these clamps also have a uh, slip resistant very rough material behind them to grab onto your belt when you're drawing so they don't slip off. Alright, clamps, they're good. I don't know if you can see that very well, but they have a good little stretch to them. Just enough to get them on. You have two screws here, right here and right here, that you can loosen or tighten to make your attention a little bit stronger if you shall choose. Again, the RCS claw, if you look at it, lines up with the belt loops. What this does is, instead of just having the gun sit like this, this, this claw is now going to push against the your belt, and it's going to push that gun back. So you're going to print even less. So if you look at it again, without it, but with it, it's going to tilt your, your gun in just a little bit. So, let's get some close-ups. Alright, so now looking at the holster up close, we can probably get a little bit more appreciation for the detail in this. So here, let's look at that carbon fiber. Look how well it's molded around the trigger here. Alright. All those rivets, very nice. Here we look at the claws. You might be able to see, I'm not sure, but there's a little square in there of that non-slip resistant so it doesn't pull off your belt. All right, so at the back, very nicely molded, has a nice little curve to it, conform to your body so you don't feel it so much. All right, pay attention to the back sides. All right, so here we go looking at the insides. You can see it's been molded to a gun, mag wells, and like I said, see if you can see that, with the gun in it, there's still enough gap for me to put my finger in between the gun and the screw. So you don't have to worry about the screws scratching up your gun or your mags. If you're one of those that's really picky about it, again, I can kind of, this one's a little tighter, but I can kind of get my finger in there. Still never going to scratch. And here's proof. Look at my gun. Not a scratch on it still. Not on the plastic, not on the metal. The Kydex leaves no marring, unlike leather and cheap plastics will. And it's just so beautiful in this gun. Alright guys, so if you ever want a custom Kydex holster, be sure to message, email, call T5 Custom Kydex and speak to Jared. Alright, very beautiful work he does, and here's his business card. Look at that. Black the flat black. Get that information, give him a call. They do make multiple styles of holsters. Not just this appendix carry, he does make um, hip carry, inside the waistband, outside the waistband. He makes um, knife sheaths, I believe, and also combat wallets. I happen to have a knife sheath, so stay tuned for another video. 
from Jerry at T5. That'll be coming next. Next, I'm going to show you guys how it looks carrying this holster. All right. I want to show you how well it hides, how well it conceals, and how easy the draw is with the gun. This holster with the gun and eight rounds total, one in the chamber, full magazine, and two full magazines. That's 28 rounds, 40 caliber. Weighs four pounds. Some of you might think that's a lot, but carrying it right in your appendix on a good, tight, tactical belt, you really don't feel it. You use it, you wear it every day, it's just like wearing a watch. You're going to get used to it. So, there it is. Alright guys, so here's what the holster looks like in concealment. I have just a normal t-shirt on, I have another shirt on just for purposes of the video. Alright, so here, you cannot tell, I'm not really printing anywhere, maybe if I stretch, you can see just the points here. Sideways, again, stand however you want, it will stick out just a little in the corner, but pretty much this is everyday wear, just normal cargo shorts. situation but uh, let's say you're having to fight somebody off you can go up with your thumb okay down okay and pull right up okay. now if you had space and you knew the attacker was coming obviously you can pull up and go those are the two ways I like to draw I've seen a lot of people carry in the head I have another holster coming for that but that's another option, so if you're having to fight somebody off or if you're trying to conceal your, your pool, your draw, your attacker might not see it and you have the element of surprise. But for me, right now, I carry appendix. A lot of people don't like to, but I like to. I can carry a lot, don't really feel it. I can bend over, I can sit in the car, it doesn't bother me anywhere. Alright, so again, here it is. Alright, so here's a post book holster, concealed. Nobody's really going to know what that is. As long as they don't see, you know, big old rectangle sticking out of your shirt. But here in Florida, it doesn't matter. That's what we got. All secure, two quick clamps. And you can bend over. It doesn't hurt. We can. sets itself up. So even in the car, you can drive, seatbelt behind it, and you can be driving with your gun ready. So there it is. Seatbelt can go behind it, and you can be driving with your gun ready. You get up, it's there, cover yourself. You're good to go. Get in the car. Okay. Check the shirt bag, whatever. But you always got the gun ready. Alright guys, so now, is it worth the hype? I didn't say the price earlier, but these holsters start at $49 for the Hitchhiker. Mind you, mine came with an extra magwell, so that might be more. Um, but, starting at $49, even if it was $60. You guys know those other companies, Phobus, Alienware, and all of them, are way more expensive. For something custom, that you can change colors, you can take off this claw, you can change these clips, there's like five different clips these offers. Totally worth the hype guys. I can't explain how comfortable this holster is, sitting, driving, walking, you don't even know it's there. I don't expect that from something that's being mass produced. Each one of these is made for every customer. Um, so yeah, for $49.99 plus shipping, tax, all that stuff, worth the hype. Again. Big shout out to Jerry Thompson at T5 Custom Kydex.
Thank you again, Jerry.